Hello, hello. This is Dr. Leona Allen and welcome to the Heal Deal podcast. And I'm just going to let you know the next couple of weeks, I'll be sharing not only my gardening journey, but life lessons that I'm getting from gardening. I'm constantly evolving and growing and learning more and more every day. And I'm finding that my health comes from knowledge and applying that knowledge. My health has come from nurturing not only my body, but my surroundings and really being intentional about everything I do. It's not just about gathering information. It's about taking what I can from that information and learning from it, good or bad. And I'm finding that same experience in gardening because I talked about last week that gardening was a way to get good food. I want to have more control over what I put in my body, but I'm finding that it's becoming more than that. It's becoming good for my mental health. It's becoming beneficial for my spiritual health. It's helping me connect with my children because my children go out there and they're helping me grow this food. So they're starting to understand and appreciate good food and where it comes from. So this is becoming bigger to me than eating healthy foods. It takes patience. It takes knowledge. It also takes understanding because for me, coming from a background of engineering and science, I love to understand how things work. I mentioned last week that I'm waiting on my soil results. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I need to do to nourish the soil and the elements it takes to be productive and to create a great harvest. So there's a science to this, a knowledge to this, and also the relationships I'm building with other gardeners and farmers. I'm finding that they're some of the most intelligent and patient people on the planet. Their demeanor is incredible. And I find that when I reach out to them, they are so knowledgeable. They're so generous with their knowledge. I mean, it's just incredible. The Journey to Healing Food Shopping Guide is your resource to making healthier food choices next time you go to the grocery store. Grab your copy today at HealthyShoppingHabits.com. Healing starts in the kitchen. Begin your journey to healing today. Go to HealthyShoppingHabits.com. Once again, that's HealthyShoppingHabits.com. So what I'm going to do in this episode is focus on some of the mental health benefits that I'm gaining from gardening. Because a lot of us are dealing with stress and anxiety and we got to do things that put us in a place that can help us to give us a break from the stress that we face in the world. Gardening is good for your physical, mental and spiritual health. I'm finding that it's very relaxing. It's improving my patience. It's improving my focus. It has taught me to be present. Nature has its way to pull us into the present. It's something about the sound of the birds, noticing the green bean popping out of the soil. It's in the present because if you don't pay attention, a lot of that stuff gets overlooked. I go out and check on my garden every day and I might not see anything one day and then the next day, Literally, I'll see the zucchini or the green bean emerging from the soil. And you got to be present to notice that because it's so tiny. If you don't look hard enough, you won't see it. So sometimes I'll just take my time and not rush and just look through the soil and I'll see it. And it's just incredible what that does to your mind and to your brain. There's this pleasure in knowing that you're doing something right and start to see that seed that you planted actually come to life. And then you start to feel connected to that plant. It is just so hard to explain. I mean, I think other gardeners and farmers will understand, but this is something that is 
new to me at a whole different level. I start to build this connection with the plant. I'm starting to research to make sure that that plant gets what it needs because it's one thing to see the plant emerge, but because these plants require so much energy, I have to make sure that it gets the light, the water and the nutrients, everything that it needs to grow. Because last year I did see seeds emerge, but they didn't grow or they didn't bear fruit because I was lacking this core step, which is you got to continue to nurture just like our bodies. Every day we have to nurture our bodies, but we have this mindset where we just do a cleanse once a year, or we just take a handful of supplements, hoping that it'll overcome our bad habits. You know, so we got to understand that this is a daily thing. This isn't just a one-time thing. This is something that I have to do on a regular basis to make sure I succeed this year. Everything that I want to see in the next six months is starting now. The energy and the knowledge that I put into this garden now is going to be a representation and what I see six months from now. So when you're present, then it leads to the connection and the nurturing dynamic. It just seems like the more attention I give to the plant, the more I get in return is like a bond. I'm finding that I am becoming fascinated with nature and how it develops. When you start to understand life, you treat it differently. You want to nurture it differently. And I'm starting to realize that's really my passion in health. When you understand your body and what it needs, you'll treat it better. And gardening is really helping me clarify that why I'm so fascinated in health in our bodies so much, why I enjoy studying anatomy and physiology and what our bodies need. Because the more I learn about it, the more I understand it, the more I learn to appreciate it and I wanted to nourish it. I don't take my health for granted anymore. Some of us are playing Russian roulette with our life and we're eating these foods, assuming that we're going to be okay, but you can't have that mindset. We have to be intentional and be connected with everything that we do, everything. And this is physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So if you're eating dead nutrient deficient food and putting it in your body, that's what you're going to get back. You're going to end up feeling dead and devitalized in return. But if you have a relationship with your food and it's living, you're going to get life in return. We got to understand that this is all symbiotic. This is all nature. This is how it works. And this is the problem in our world today. We are so disconnected. We know more about our cell phones than we do our bodies. And another thing that I'm learning about gardening is that it requires patience and responsibility. It takes accountability as well. And these are things that we need in our lives. A lot of us lack patience. We have this mindset when it comes to health that we want it now, but we can't think that way. Good health doesn't happen overnight. Just like my green beans and my zucchini aren't going to be harvested overnight. We want everything now. We don't want to be responsible for our health, but we have to be responsible and we have to be patient and we have to take accountability. This is another reason why I find gardening to be very therapeutic. This is another reason why gardening can teach you so many life lessons and life skills. Cause if I'm not responsible for what I'm creating, then it will fail. It will not thrive. The garden needs attention. You can't just throw the seeds out there and hope for the best. You got to protect your seeds. You got to protect your work because there's always some pest out there that's going to interfere with your hard work. Don't we see that in our lives? And there's always that pest or that energy drainer in your life that wants to take everything you built. 
So we have to take responsibility. We have to be accountable. We have to start to build those boundaries. We have to create things in our lives to keep those negative energies away from us. Those things are people that are always trying to take. That is our responsibility to make sure we have what we need in order to thrive. For example, in the garden, the squirrel isn't going to say, I see that she's building a garden. I'm going to stay out the way. No, that squirrel's going to go in there and start to dig holes. I mean, I've seen it happen. That's what happened last year. So I learned that I have to create barriers and that is my responsibility to protect my plants from that. And we have to do that in our lives, especially early in the healing journey. When you're new to the journey, you need as much protection as possible. And you also have to be responsible and accountable for your actions. And also it helps you to become intelligent. Last week I talked about how farmers are some of the most intelligent people on the planet, in my opinion, because it takes a certain intelligence to understand the cycle of life and nutrition and sustainable and organic gardening and farming go hand in hand. I'm understanding the benefits of a lot of the food Not only do I want to just grow green beans and zucchini and cucumbers, I also want to understand the healing benefits of those foods because that's fascinating to me as well. And also I'm learning about the benefits of the soil. I'm learning about the balance of watering. Last year I was watering too much. So now I'm starting to understand and paying attention based on how the plant looks and what it needs. My cucumbers aren't looking very green and I believe it has to do with my soil. So I'm doing some research on what cucumbers need to thrive. So it's helping me educate myself and understand more about these crops and what they need because each crop is different and each crop has its individual needs. We have to understand that balance and what it needs. And that's just like our bodies. We all have different needs. We just can't compare ourselves to someone we see online and assume that'll work with us. We're all individuals with individual needs. So we have to educate ourselves and understand what we need in order to thrive. And that's the same with my plants. With every plant I'm planting, I'll research it and study it so I can pay attention to that plant in every phase of its life. I'm talking about my green beans a lot because that's what's starting to germinate right now. And I gotta make sure that it has what it needs in every step of its journey, just like us. It's like some of us will do something in the beginning of our healing journey, but then we give up. That's because we need to change it up. You're in a different stage of your healing, so you need to change up what you're actually doing. You need to change your actions, and it takes research to do that. And I say this a lot to my clients. What it takes to lose the first 10 pounds is going to be different than what it takes to lose the second 10. And I think that's what gets a lot of people stuck is they try to do that same thing over and over again and expect a different result. Well, that's because it's time for the next step. It's time for the next phase. So that's also what I'm learning in the gardening journey, the importance of education and every phase of growth and healing. But I think the biggest thing that gardening is helping me do is I guess create a sense of hope you know it's just like when i see something finally working finally growing i have this hope that says i can do this a confidence maybe that's the word i'm looking for is teaching me confidence it's giving me something to look forward to it's like every morning i wake up i can't wait to go out in my garden and see what's new today. And it's bringing me anticipation of what's to come. And it's become therapeutic for me. I'm finding that gardening is creating a sort of peace. It has been my time of meditation. Cause sometimes if I'm not even working in the yard, I can literally just sit out there for hours and just connect spiritually with my creator, the one who created all of this in the first place. 
is a way of sharing my gratitude to what he has provided in my life. Because I know that at the end of the day, he has put this in my heart and I know that I will be blessed by taking care of things his way. So just know that with this gardening journey, I believe it is really saving my life in so many ways because I was getting to a point where I was losing hope. I was getting tired. I was having a hard time getting up in the morning. But what this gardening has done is I'm getting up early again because all I want to do is wake up in the morning and just connect with what's being created. So I just wanted to share that real quick. Thanks for hanging in there with me. And for those who I've talked to, thanks for all your input and your encouragement and your guidance. And actually some other people have been inspired to start their garden and it could be small. It doesn't matter. It could be a flower that you want to start in your home because of the lessons that it gives you when you start to see that plant grow and that hope that it gives you. You don't understand it until you actually see it with your own eyes. I had one client, she just got a pot and one seed and she's growing a plant in her home. It's just another way of creating life and it's good for the soul. So I'm going to go ahead and close for today. Let me know what you think of this episode. And until next time, go out there and achieve more freedom in your health and your life. Take care.